All right, I'm back. My five minutes went faster than I thought. Now I got more than I wanted here. I didn't want the publications and stuff. So I'm in here in my Google page. I can use my mouse here successfully. I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom here and just delete or hit backspace. And I don't know what happened. So now I'll go back here. I may have canceled my <laughs> canceled my whole page. So I'm recreating a resume page. Okay. So I had problems with just selecting. For some reason, in doing this video, it's not letting me select just the part. So I should have. Uh, let's try it again. Select all. Copy. Go back to my Google page. Right click and say paste. It uh, fills it up. Now I have this gigantic, way more than I want. Can I get rid of it? It goes all the way down to here. I want to get rid of most of this and just come up to uh, you guys don't need to see all my publications in the example web page so point is you just got to get a basic let's see if I can delete there we go basic resume so I've done that I've pasted in oop that's not over there so I go common sense I find my make it centered and I say save that's nice now I have home and I have resume and I have sitemap and I have a couple a, a couple different options. So I've done this and now always what I want to do when I have an assignment is check it in an external browser. So this should work. So I say okay, what's the guy's resume? Or what's the guy, what's the URL? This is the URL that's something else I was working on, but this is the URL if you've named it your with your Z number, which you must do for the class. So it's HTTPS, which means a secure website, uphill, uphill, sites.google.com, uphill, a, students.niu.edu. That's the same. That part's the same for all of us. And then the Z is specific for each of us. So if you want to give it to your mom or your aunt in Idaho or something, anybody in the world can see it. Except, what's this? Now, I was just over here. This is where I've been working. And I go, I click on home, my website, you know, this is the student that says to me, hey, everything's working, Dr. Downing. I clicked on it, I checked it, it works for my computer. Well, see this bright blue button over here? If I go, I'm going, this is in Internet Explorer, and I'm looking at it in Chrome, just a different browser, you know, somewhere else to test my work. Always test your work. Um, it says you can't see this. So my aunt in Idaho can't see this because, back to my working on my page, I didn't share it. So I click share. This is important. Otherwise, we can't see your site. And it says, who do you want? And this says, only people at Northern Illinois can see it. No, no, no. I want to click change. And I want this to be public. Now, you don't have to do this. Um, but for the class, while it's being graded, you have to have it public. You can change it and make it private later if you're being harassed or something by an ex-girlfriend or whatever. But we want these to be public for grading. We're putting our name, website, and simple resume. Don't put your phone number on your resume, by the way. I did. Uh, now I click and go back to my site. I've made it shared. I go back to my site. Notice that on my resume I have my phone number, I think. Yeah, I have my phone number I, and my address. It's my work address and my email. You know, I can get spammed. That's not a good idea. I don't recommend you doing it. So let's uh, let's walk the walk the walk here. We'll just take it out. They can, somebody can spam me on my fax, but I'll take out the email too because I don't want people to have that. So I, I don't because they have bots that troll the web and find things with the at symbol in it, and they they put it into the giant spam database. It's terrible. So I've done that. I I can get out of this, but now I go to Google and let's make sure this thing works. I hit the refresh. Hey, cool. Now this is what it looks like to your mom in Idaho. Dr. Downing's example page. If I open this up, by the way, that that will come out like that. I just had this to fit in the video. So it's fitting to the page. That works fine. I go to the resume. The phone number shouldn't be there. If I saved it, I did. The Charles E. Downing is not in the middle. So I want to make that quick change. See if I have time to do that. I don't know why. Back to edit. Thought I did that. Maybe I didn't save it when I did the Charles E. Downing to the middle. So this, I go to the middle. Just want it to look reasonable. Save it go back and check it and I've got my the first part of my assignment completed very cool I think go over here refresh the page always refresh to see it be hey there's the Charles E. Downing in the center we're good to go that's how you do it in two quick five-minute videos good luck we'll see ya